Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today's video uh, is going to be linked to Etsy, uh, Etsy listing. This is uh, kind of like uh, navigate through how you can put together from uh, designs I've got now on my design I've got now on my Etsy. One very beautiful simple book. It does have five sheets. I do have their designs in A4 size and also US letter size. And it does have five sheets. This is base. Here we have one cover, which will go from the right side. Here we have uh, another cover, which will go from the left side with the pockets. And here we have a uh, a string pocket and another kind of like double pocket. I'm gonna fussy cut out all these pieces. There is also one sheet with back print and it does have these cute little polka dots. So I did double sided print from one side. These designs on all of these sheets I printed that polka dot design. Now I'm gonna fussy cut out all these pieces and I will show you how you can put it all together. I do have all my pages fussy cut out, all those papers, and now I can place them together. You can use this uh, this sheet the way you want. It doesn't matter which which side you will put on the top or on the right, on the <laughs> left side, which roses you will have there. Uh, as a first, I'm gonna take this cover. It's uh, the one with the decorative edge. There is also picture uh, it's put together back side and front side so just fussy cut out fold it half and you can glue it together and create postcard or you can keep it like mini booklet just like this I did print out all my designs on 200 GSM papers so it's nice strong cardstock here we do have small decorative label mini tap and frame so i'm gonna move this one i'm gonna take a ruler knife and i'm gonna cut out this image from that frame like this this small tap i can glue over the edge of this little little tack i'm gonna distress the edges give it a little bit more vintage vibe and because I like a uh, stitched effect so sewing effect I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and do some little sewing all around of this little tack I do have my stitching done I'm gonna put the glue on that mini tab and glue it here gonna let it dry once it will be dry I'm gonna punch the hole and fix that an eyelet I'm gonna grab back <coughs> this frame and uh, I'm gonna replace this empty spot uh, with acetate sheet I do have here piece of acetate which can fit in there I'm gonna use uh, I'm using double-sided tape to glue that acetate on the spot it there so I do have my beautiful frame with that acetate I'm gonna take this base sheet gonna fold it half And I'm gonna take this uh, front cover and with a ruler and scoring tool I'm gonna score this line here to help me to fold that small uh, small edge 
which I will use to glue my front cover on that base sheet. So I score that line in there. Now here I'm gonna add the glue. So I'm gonna add the glue on this flap or a small fold. Open my booklet and glue this here and match it with the edge. And close this opposite side to make sure I can close it all. I'm gonna distress also this paper. I did already distress this uh, flap, so now I'm gonna distress all that rest. I distressed all the edges. I'm gonna take my glue, grab the frame and I think I would like to see here uh, some strip of fabric, something or maybe lace. I do have here these fabric strips and they do have beautiful floral pattern and it's uh, very soft and it does have double sided tape on the back side so I'm gonna just glue it there just for that uh, texture so now I'm gonna take this frame put the glue on three sides of that frame I'm gonna put the glue just on the edges And glue it right here. Make sure I'm not in the fold. Into that frame I can place this lovely picture. I'm gonna wait till it's dry. And a minute tuck. And I do have here this uh, little label that can go right here. So I'm gonna just cut from uh, some craft paper. I'm gonna cut two strips. And I'm gonna put the glue on this strip of paper. And glue my label right here. Now I'm gonna take this uh, other page plus these two pockets. I'm gonna take a ruler and the scoring tool and score all these lines around the pocket. Pocket one, pocket two. Again, all these three lines and also the line here, which will help me to fold this piece. I do have distressed edges on all these three pieces. I also folded these folds. I do have here this. So first I'm gonna place my page on this last panel. I'm gonna open it and here I'm gonna use first this striped pocket 
going to add the glue on the fold. And I'm going to take that another pocket, add the glue on the fold again. And place it on the top of the first one. I do believe the frame is glued already, so I can slide in there this beautiful picture. And I can add there also this, or I can add it now for these pockets. So I'm going to move to these two pockets, stacked pockets, and this postcard. Again, I'm going to distress all the edges. I do have all my pieces distressed. I also folded this. And I'm going to keep it again as a booklet. I'm not going to glue it together to create a postcard. So I do have one booklet. And here I do have these two pockets. And it's very easy to put them together. I'm going to use this pinkish because it's larger. So the pinkish goes first. And you can choose glue it here or here. I'm just going to glue it down. And I'm going to take this second piece again, put the glue on the folds. And glue it on the top. And I do have pocket here. And now last one, I do have here this, this combination. This will be flap, this will be pocket. We do have one beautiful picture, tack, and two circles. I'm gonna distress all these pieces. So I do have all pieces distressed. I'm gonna open it. And first, I'm going to make a mark for myself where there is a middle of the pocket. So somewhere here, I should place the circle. I'm going to be using eyelets to fix the circle in. So first, I'm going to punch the hole in that white circle yeah I guess I'm in the middle I'm gonna punch the hole where I made the mark just forgot ah I shouldn't do mark <laughs> first first I should try so one more time I'm going to make a mark on my pocket here. And this space I'm going to cover it with a label. Now I can take this piece. If it will be too long, I can always fold it more here on the top and make it shorter. So I'm going to check it out. If I will fit here and I will have beautiful exact closure here, it will be just exactly. 
so I can put the glue here on that flap glue the flap on the top of this page I'm gonna take that second circle place it on my flap make a beautiful position you know on the opposite spot I'm gonna make a mark punch there a hole and fix the circle with an eyelet I do have punched hole here I'm gonna slide that the string take an eyelet the circle put the eyelet into that hole here and fix it through to the, the hole here and then fix the eyelet I'm gonna cut this string Now I do have here tack and this beautiful picture. I can close my pocket, wrap it around. And I do have my little booklet done. And now I can place it into my journals or send it to someone. It can be also like movie opening pocket. If I will put the glue here on these sides and glue it on my uh, on the page in my journal it can make a uh, top loaded pocket if I will put the glue here on these three sides and glue it on the page in my journal it can make side loaded pocket and I can also use uh, velcro closure I think I'm gonna use velcro closure here and I'm gonna place it on that frame Oh no, no, no. But I can place Velcro closure here and close it with Velcro closure. So this is my sharing for today. Uh, this is for Etsy listing to make sure that uh, my customers will understand how to put this mini booklet together. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope it gave you some idea what you can create with your papers. Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.